Guys, when you think Cuba, you immediately start thinking the revolution, Fidel Castro, the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Bay and Pigs invasion, or the communist government. I mean, yeah, those things are true, but there's also sugar cane plant. There's also sugar there, and a lot of other things too, like cigars, like classic cars. Anyway, guys, we're doing Cuba today, the largest island in the Caribbean, and also the only communist country in North America. This country's been communist since 1959. We'll explain more about that later. The place flag is pretty simple to do. I mean, next episode, tomorrow's episode will be even easier. Because I don't even need that many colors. Then you want to draw a triangle right here. Then you want to draw a star. Alright, so the colors you need are blue and red. So let's start with the red. It's all red in this triangle. I'll pull around the star. I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, there's the red. Now for the blue. It's all blue here, here, and here. I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, there's Cuba. Now for the other stuff. The capital is Havana. Capital is Havana. Here's how you spell it. The type of government is Unitary Marxist Leninist One Party Socialist Republic. Like I said, it was is the only country that's communist in North America and is only one of five countries that remain communist today. They would be China, North Korea, Vietnam, Laos, and Cuba. Four in Asia, one North America. And the leader is the general secretary of the Cuban Communist Party, Raul Castro. I mean, Cuba does have a president, but the general secretary has the most power. I mean, the president's name is Miguel Diaz Canal, but Raul Castro has the most power. He's Fidel Castro's brother after Castro stepped down in 2008 or 2011, and he's still in power today. And, you know, as we all know, Castro died in 2016. And the official language is Spanish. As former Spanish colony was also former American occupied territory. But they do they do hate America though. Alright guys. They use the peso as their currency. They use the type A, B, C, and L plug outlets, and they drive on the right side of the road. Now for the history that goes like this. And that's about it. Stay tuned. Cyprus is next.